Hi guys, and thanks for watching this video. So today we're testing a different camera setup. Um, I've had a lot of comments in the past videos that um, they'd like to see what the B-pillar camera is seeing. So what I've done is I actually um, strapped the um, 360 camera in uh, the back uh, window and it's roughly at the same height as the B-pillar camera. Um, with the uh, 360 camera I can actually adjust the angle so I'll try and point it uh, like sort of forward um, to see. This is not going to be perfect but it's going to be as, as close to uh, what the B-pillar camera is seeing. The other thing is I can see I, I, I had to put it on the window so it's at the same height. Uh, we'll have a gap here so hopefully we won't have a lot of uh, background noise as we're driving. Um, so yeah, let me uh, let me set up the cameras for our normal drive and then we'll uh, we'll see how uh, how we can use this B, cam B pillar camera. Okay, so I have a setup uh, destination already in the GPS. Um, it's about seven minutes. We we can add another destination once we're there. It's the target um, that is nearby. Um, so I want to sh shout out to um, Scott and Eloraldo who actually on the last video were able to find uh, one of the uh, Easter egg that I I got when I was doing a 360 video. There was um, a couple of people waving at the camera and they were the first one to answer the. Uh, the uh, question about what timestamp um, the waving was. So let's take a look. Okay, I was uh, confused with the FS FSD um, visualization. It wasn't picking up. So I'm gonna engage here. And as I'm engaging, as a reminder for everyone, FSD does make the car fully autonomous. Um, I'm in control of the vehicle at all times. So if I see it doing something that it shouldn't be doing, I'll take over. Um, as a reminder, that blue steering wheel that you see on the top left, when it's blue, that means that FSD is uh, engaged, and if it's not, that means I took over and I'm driving manually. So we're gonna make a right turn here. Uh, we will be able to see if the B-pillar camera is actually helping to kind of get um, a sense of what the car is seeing. We do have a fence on the left-hand side. Uh, it's a see-through fence. So let's see. Uh, ideally, I'd like the car to be on the right-hand side of this uh, of this uh, uh, of the lane, but um, we'll see. So it's turning around. There's a bicycle. Okay, I think I can. I, I think we can go. I don't really see. I wish we can creep forward a little bit. Okay, we can go. There's a gap now. Yeah, we should be able to go. It's turning the wheel. It's waiting. Not sure what it's waiting for. Still have another car now. There's a bike coming. Okay, the, now the bike needs to go around us, which is not ideal. Okay, we have a nice nice open gap now, so we should be able to go. This car here is waiting for us, uh, which is nice. Okay, so it was very hesitant. I'm gonna report that um, it wasn't the best right turn. There was, there was a couple of gaps that we could have taken. Um, and when we had plenty of room, it wasn't confident enough to just go for it. Okay, so we're supposed to turn right here. Okay, so it sees two lanes. I can see in the visualization, it sees two lanes. Uh, there's not much gap to go on the right-hand side because you have that SUV or that compact SUV. I don't think it's called a compact SUV. I don't know. Ford, Ford something. Um, okay, a traffic light making a right. I think we're in a good, good positioning here. It's slowing down. Not sure why it's slowing that down that much. So we have a car on the left. All right, slowing down again for the pedestrians. Yeah, okay, so it's correcting itself and going back into the lane, which is fine. I'm gonna report that again, not a greatest experience. We were very hesitant here. Um, it did, it took all the right decision though. Like it was, you know, it was positioning itself, trying, making a right and then uh, aiming at the, the lane, but it was really, really uncertain.
Okay, it's moving on the right lane. Slowing down for this car, making a right turn. There's nobody behind us. Okay, it's going. That was fine. Yeah, we need to move over. We are actually, we were too much on the right. I'm gonna report that. But we were too much on the right on the bridge. It was actually a cyclist lane. Uh, there was no marking or anything, but it was a cyclist lane. Uh, the only reason why I realized it was a cycling lane is after the bridge there was that marking uh, that came up. Okay, so we're supposed to go around this truck. We have a car behind us. There's another car behind us that is passing us on the right hand side. So this is a good example. I'm not going to report this. FSD did exactly what you're supposed to do. A human driver would have done exactly like the two other cars in front of us. They would have uh, passed us on the right hand side. I'm not going to report it. I don't think, I mean, that's not critical for me at all. Uh, what we did is the safest option. Um, so I'll, I'll keep it that way. Okay, so we're making a right soon. It's moving lanes. Oh, very nice. So it's moving all the way to the right. Oh. It's going all the way to the left and <laughs> I'm gonna take over. Not sure why it was it was doing great. It was doing really good and then it decided not to and then it went all the way on the left hand side so took over. Alright. Okay, so I'm taking I'm gonna take over here. I'm gonna set up another destination. Uh let's see if we can go maybe somewhere around here. Yep, very good. So I'm gonna re engage. Okay, so this, this is something that I already said before, but basically, you can see further out that. Yeah, taking over. Uh, <laughs> they, there's further out, there's cars that are parked here. And those cars are actually, if you, you were driving, um, this people, like a human would have moved over on the left lane for, uh, earlier, which is exactly what we did, but this gentleman didn't want to let us uh, through, which there was plenty of gap, but he was just, um, he was just honking. Um, that's Chicago for you. So um, I wish Tesla could anticipate a little bit earlier. Um, I know it's very hard, but basically what we wanted here is that the, because the cars were parked further down the road, it needs to plan ahead to be able to move one lane over. And um, uh, when we get to that level, then, you know, um, I think I think we'll get closer and closer to autonomy, definitely, uh, when we anticipate that, that, that further out. All right. No markings here. Very good, it's navigating through. We do have a lead car, so um, that helps a lot. Gonna make a right turn after the traffic light. So it's making, okay, so it's turning left and then decided to go right. That's not so good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take over here. It's aiming for the left lane only and we don't want to do that. So I'm gonna take over, I'm gonna re-engage after the traffic light. I'm gonna move one lane over. Um, here we go. Then we can re-engage. car in front of us made a mistake as well so they're moving over from the right lane only to the, the one that goes straight and here's the turn very nice okay we have a, a bus coming in front of us on coming there's a second one yeah FSD is moving over 
not sure we need the indicator, but it is moving over. Okay, and that's our turn. We can go. Yeah, we can go. Very nice. Then we're going to make a left turn here. So here are this traffic light. We're gonna wait until the cross traffic is clear. Um, I mentioned it before, but the cars behind me would, would pass me on the right hand side just because humans would usually just engage into the, the intersection uh, and wait there. Um, but uh, FSD is being very careful. So I might have to take over. I'm actually gonna have, I'm, I'm taking over. There's a car behind us. And if I don't do that, then they will um, they will not be happy, and I don't want to disrupt the traffic um, more than I I, I I need to. So um, I, I, yeah, I really wish Tesla could could improve on that. All right, so we'll stop the video here. I hope you guys enjoy this new setup. Uh, if you did, make sure to click like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.